Hi, I'm Saul Kirsch of Double Alpha Academy and I'm here today to show you one of our leading products, the Double Alpha Race Master Magazine Pouch. The one I have here is a purple color. We offer these in six different colors, obviously the most popular being black. These pouches are the first aluminum pouches on the market and they offer a great blend of quality, durability and performance. They're also very versatile. They can be used with practically all types of magazines on the market. And what I'd like to show you today are a few features uh, that we receive questions about. So I'd like to explain to you how inserts are changed and how the pouch can be mounted in different positions. When you receive your Double Alpha Race Master pouch, the spaces which are assembled to the pouch are set for the wide body 2011 style magazine. So the STI magazines or the SV or the Para, the wide body 2011s. These being the most popular magazines used in our sport. But we do supply with every pouch a replacement set of spaces which easily allow you to make the pouch adaptable to the smaller wide body magazines such as the uh, CZ or the Zig magazines which are double column but smaller. So I'll show you first how you're going to change those inserts to swap your magazine, uh, to swap your pouch from a wide body to a narrower uh, magazine. First thing you want to do is remove the pressure spacer. The pressure spacer is the one attached on the back. This is the one that applies pressure to the back of the magazine and the wheel, the aluminum wheel assembled in the pouch serves to adjust that pressure. To remove the spacer, first make sure that you back the wheel all the way out towards the back wall of the pouch. It's important that it be in that position. With your fingers from the top and the bottom, bend that spacer backwards using your thumbs on the back wall, push it back until it's slightly bent and then slide it upwards so that it comes out from the top of the pouch along with the leaf spring. Now the leaf spring is of course the piece which applies the pressure. The wheel pushes on the center of the leaf spring which pushes on the spacer towards the magazine. So to change that spacer from the back you put your thin spacer aside, take the thicker one, put the spring into place and then slide it in underneath the aluminum back wall until it clicks into place. At this point the spacer is held securely by the structure of the pouch and the wheel serves to adjust the pressure on the magazine in the same way that it did on the wide magazine. You'll now see that if I take my smaller body magazine the length is now adjusted to suit the need of this magazine. Of course the magazine pouch is still too wide so we need to address that issue by changing the side spacer. Reaching in with the three millimeter hex key you reach into the center assembly screw, unscrew it and remove it from the pouch completely. Once that is done, the spacer and screw can be removed as one unit. Taking your thicker spacer, you slide that into place, get the screw into its pocket, And there you have it. We've now successfully changed the spaces in the Race Master pouch and it is now adjustable and fits snugly on the smaller magazine body. So that change can be done in seconds. You'll notice that the pouch is completely ambidextrous, which means that you could just as easily assemble your mounting bracket, your belt clip, on the reverse side of the pouch. So moving the side spacer to the opposite side. It's designed to be symmetrical and in that type of scenario the pouch then becomes a left-handed pouch performing exactly in the same way and offering the same features. The Race Master pouch body in fact offers three mounting points to the bracket. There's a mounting point on the front of the pouch the opposite side and this is for right hand and left hand users but there's also a mounting point below the aluminum wheel on the back panel over here which allows one to mount the pouch at a 90 degree angle for those who prefer to use their magazines pointing away from the body. To use that mounting point you need to first remove the pressure spacer to get access to it. You'll take your aluminum bracket and put it into place. It's going to be a little bit tight on a new pouch. It's designed so that there is no wiggle space allowed there. And using the center assembly screw 
you can place that through the hole just below the aluminum wheel and then use the conveniently positioned hole on the opposite side to reach in with the hex key until you can reach the head of the screw and tighten it into place. This screw on the front of the panel is actually an M5 threaded screw which we make in all the pouches and it's used as a mounting point for the magnets should you wish to attach a, magne a magnet on the front of your pouch. I'm not going to tighten that all the way but you can see how that would work. Now when you assemble the spacers you'll then slide in your pressure spacer in the same way you did before that'll snap into place and you're going to come across a situation here where you do have to assemble your side spacer the side spacer is important not only for adjusting the width of the cavity to fit the magazine but also you'll note that the side spacer includes the foot on which the front end of the magazine rests so you have to have that assembled of course now that the bracket is on the back of the pouch you're going to have something you're going to need something to attach that spacer to which is why the kit comes including an extra screw and an acorn nut which can be used for assembling that side spacer in those cases that you're mounting at 90 degrees this is the only time you'll need that extra hardware usually it would not be used but it's there for you should you wish to mount the pouch in this position and there you have it so the spaces are then fully assembled into place the pouch will function as designed and the bracket is mounted on the back obviously you're going to then turn this 90 degrees using the lockup screws which are part of the mechanism. So that is how with the double alpha race master pouch you can change the spaces quickly and easily to be able to move from the two different kinds of commonly used magazines the wide body magazines and how you can change the assembly of the belt bracket either for right hand or left handed users and for mounting the pouch at 90 degrees. The processes we've described here and the way the pouch is used is exactly the same with the racer model double alpha magazine pouch which is the same mechanism as the race master but with a plastic body uh, and belt clip instead of aluminum. So with the racer and the race master both changing of the inserts adjusting the tension uh, and assembling 90 degrees is achieved in the same way. Mm -hmm.